Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, welcome to another week. We're going to start the week on an absolute marathon build. I'm going to do the final eight stages of the fan home release of Build the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. So that will take us up to stage 110. That finishes the vehicle. So uh, another finished vehicle. We're going to have two finished models this week, hopefully, if things go uh, according to plan. Uh, but as you can see, I've got the bits that I've uh, stored away for ages up here, uh, which I haven't done anything with, namely the front grille and the bonnet and uh, also the uh, top section here. Let me show you this again because we haven't seen this in a long time. That I'm probably guessing is one of the last things that we get to put on. But uh, everything else... I've got stored down here for this absolute marathon build. No idea how long this is going to take. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one. But let's finish the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Let's get cracking. So it starts with stage 103, this is the magazine here, and what we're going to be doing is the reverse lights and the rear valance, this is all the parts that we've got here, and we're actually going to be still working on the bodywork like we did before, and I'm going to add these details so it looks just like that. So here's all the parts for stage 103, let's get these open, and the first thing we're going to do is I've got these reverse light trims looking like that, they're just going to go from the inside here into these openings, one there. And then one on the other side, just like that. In the back of those, I have got some lenses to put in. Now these have got a lip on them, so they go with the top hat section facing down. So that's one. And this one's number two. Now these aren't screwed in, these are just sitting in there like that. And the reason for that is because we've got these reflector brackets here, which have got this sort of ramp section, which is going to be facing down, but it's going to go on this way here to hold that all in place. That's held in with CM screws. Once again, I'm going into metal. So I'll put this in a little bit of oil, sort of going at an angle as well. So you don't want to be putting it in that way. You sort of want to drive it in at a, I'd say a 30, 30 degree, perhaps 35 degree angle. There we go. And that's the first one in there. Just do the same on the other side. These are labelled, so that's the left side there. And the one I'm putting here has got a big R on. That's the right side. Which is reversed, because this is the rear of the vehicle. So this would normally be a facing away from me. Let's get these ones in as well. And now they're held in. That's looking just like that. This is where I need my mat. So I'm going to put that down here. My Partwork Upgrades mat with the Sprueverse Challenge logo. This is my special edition mat. Bring up the bodywork here and just turn this upside down. So we want to look at the back section just there. So this is going to go into the holes that we can see in this black section here. We've got one here, we've got one on the other side. They're going to go into the holes that I've got on this side here. And I've got one on this side here. So this is going to go kind of like behind the uh, number plate, kind of like that there. It's going to be held in with AM screws into those two holes. Try to add just a little bit of extra light. I don't know if that's going to help just so you can see what I'm doing here. Now that's been put in loosely there, but I am using my PH1 to make this really tight. You do want this flush with the rest of the bodywork. And there you go, that's in, and that's all there is to do in that stage. That leads us swiftly on to stage 104. Let's turn to the instructions here. We're going to be installing the rear wheel arches. Two of these to put on. Again, they're going to go on the inside of the bodywork section we've been working on, and they're going to be held in with FM screws. So this should be quite a quick stage. So this is what those wheel arches look like, and we have got some FM screws here. Bring up my mat again, and put the car upside down on the mat. Now, you can see where these are going to go here on the top and side cameras. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to take the left wheel arch. It is actually stamped with an L just there. And that's going to go on this side here. So, just line it up and make sure it fits flush in there. That's held in with FM screws. I've got them here. 
and I'll get that nice and tight and flat into this body section because again we don't want anything getting in the way when I put the two parts of the vehicle together. So that's one side and just do exactly the same on the other side here. Perfect, they're in place and that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 105 that I got here, let's see what we're doing. We have got the uh, pieces for this stage. We've got the spare wheel carrier. That looks just like that. Uh, we're gonna be adding some details to a latch by the look of that here. So that's just looking like that. We don't need the car for this stage. So I want this bracket to be going down here and going through to that section just like that. Now I'm holding it in place this way round so that when I bring this over, it's gonna sit in that little bridge there. Just like that there. And I'm gonna secure that in with the screws that we get in this pack here, which are MP screws, just two of these. Just from the uh, other side here. So one in there. And one just in this side here. That's the wheel carrier in place, looking like that. That's able to move and that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, stage 106, what are we doing here? We're gonna be installing the fuel tank. This is what the fuel tank looks like. Hundreds of screws in here. But this is where we're gonna separate the men from the boys. We're gonna be putting the fuel tank on that carry that we just created. Then, I always hate this on all the builds, we're gonna be putting the top section of the car to the bottom section of the car. And we're actually gonna screw that into place. So at the end of it, we're gonna have one full car ready to add the final details to. This is gonna be a long time to do this, I know it is. I am absolutely praying to the 1-8 gods that they have mercy on me and this goes smooth. But uh, every single car, apart from the Cobra and the Jaguar, have problems putting them together. So uh, anyway, let's do this. So first thing we want is the fuel level sensor. That's what this is here. That's just going into the hole that you can see at the top of the fuel tank here. It's just a push in, it has got a lug on the back. So that's in like that. This whole thing then, fits into these two holes here, having it this way round. So that's gonna go on there. And that's held in from the other side with AP screws. So it's these holes right at the bottom that we're putting these in. So it's one this side and just one on the other side. Bring over the carrier again. And this is gonna go into the two points that we can just see there. So I'm gonna line up these so that the detail here is facing towards this catch there. So it's gonna go on like that. Now you will see, to help you align this, we do have a little locating lug there. That's just gonna go into that hole that we can see there. So get that one in, and that will line the rest of them up for you. So AP screws from the other side. That's one, and just one there. I've got two wires here, which are coming from the fuel tank. So these are not wires, these are pipes, I'm guessing. So one's going on the nipple on this side, and that's connected to the nipple on the carrier just there. So that looks like that. And just do the same on the other side. Now the nipple on the other side is just at the back of the tank here. So that looks like that when it's in. I'm gonna get my screws out the way because I'm gonna be putting this into the main body of the car. Now on this camera, you can see the pipe from the uh, fuel filler pipe here. That's gonna be going onto the hole just there on the carrier. So when I put this in, you wanna make sure that they're aligned up, just like that. Now, as I put this in, I do wanna make sure that this electric cable here is visible still, because I'm gonna to need to plug the bottom of the car into that. So let's get all these LP screws in. There's six in total. And then I've got four holes in the middle here, which are gonna be taking AM screws. So that's in place, let me just turn that over and open the trunk up 
I'm just going to push the pipe into that base, just like that. Put that on the floor for a second and bring up the main body of the car. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that this cable here from the headlights is out of the way of these screw positions here. So I'm going to get a little bit of tape and just hold that into position there. Now I've zoomed out every single camera, okay? Uh, historically, again, it's really hard to show you this actually going on. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the cable from the back here. I'm going to plug that into the body first where the rear lights are. And then I'm going to attempt to put the whole thing on top. So I've left my uh, camera running. I'll get this cable in first. That cable's in, and let's bring the top to the bottom. Now I've positioned the front first to get that into where I think it needs to fit. That's looking okay. The back seems to have gone on absolutely perfect. You know what? That looks like it's done. That was done. I can't believe that. How easy did that go on? I've got the lights coming out the front here. I don't know if you can see that. This uh, band at the front of the car here is in front of the actual uh, engine housing. That was easy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw this together. So I need to turn it over and we're gonna be holding it in with AM screws. So I've got some holes just at the back here which are gonna have two AM screws in each. Now in the middle here and here, I've got CP screws to put in. Just got to reattach this brake pipe to the wheel, so I'll do that now. Now back in stage 102, we had these overriders here, which look like this and this. They're gonna go onto Hopefully you can see this. They're going to go onto the back here and slot in to a screw that we're about to put into there. So put this side in as well. You hear it click in there. Perfect. They're held in with DM screws. These are flange screws, but they will hold that into place like that. We now need to remove the front two wheels to get to the screw points to screw the front of the car down. So take the hubs off and let's get the wheels off. So they're both off now, which means we've got two AM screws to put each side here to screw the front down. And you know, getting one screw in there has just basically promoted this build to the easiest to join together. I can't believe how easy that is because these are the last screws here that's going to keep the car together. Now there are other screw holes along this edge, but these are the structural screws, if you like. And you do want to get these as tight as you can get them. Which is why I'm using my PH1 screwdriver here. But that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 107, this is the last pack now. We're gonna be doing the front section of the bodywork. We've got all of this here, which means that we're gonna be putting these brackets on and then we're gonna be taking the grill that we had before and connecting the headlights to it. So at the end, we've actually got the front section of the car done there as well. So this is everything we've got in that stage. Let's open this up. And we now finally need this front end assembly that we created right back at the beginning of this build. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take this cross member here and that's gonna be going along these three holes just at the back, this way round. So put that in just over the top. That's gonna to fit in just like that. It's held in with CM screws. So if I put the middle one in first, it should hold the other two in nicely on the sides. Once again, I have put some oil just on these screws. Now we wanna join these two cross members together. We've got a locating pin at the top there which is gonna go into that hole there and we're gonna be screwing this through the hole here. So when we line these up, that should fit flat on top like that. That's held in with an FM screw. Got one of them here. 
screw that in. So that looks like that. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other one. That's the last screw going in there. And I'm going to add this to the back of the front grille section here. So we want it to be bending down like that. So that's what way around you go. And it goes into the holes here and here. So that's fitting in like that there. Now the left side of this is held in with FM screws. The right side of it is held in with KP screws. Every time I hear the word KP, for some insane reason, I start thinking about peanuts. So I'll put the FM screw in first, just on this side, and the KP screw just in the other side. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other bracket on the other side. And there you go. They're both in just like that. Okay, I'm going to bring the car back up again now. And I'm on my phone camera here because I'm going to be putting these in place. Now the shorter wire of these head, uh, headlights go in this side. So one and two. And then the longer wires go in the other side here. One and two. Just like that. I'm going to lie that down because what I want to do is use some of this little bit of black adhesive they've gave here just to pin these into position here and here. And when we're happy they're into position, I'm going to turn the car upside down, ready to attach this to the front of the car. Now I have reinforced this just with my own insulating tape here, just to tidy this up. But what we're going to do is the two channels between these brackets here and here are going to go in between the mounts here and there's one on the other side just there. So just in case of sliding them on, I am going to take this plug though and just thread it through this hole here. That will just keep everything nice and tidy and in place and push that into position like that. It's going to be held in once again with FM screws. So I need two each side. On the inside edge of this valance here, I'm going to be putting CM screws. I can lose that bit of masking tape that I put on earlier and I'm just going to connect the headlights back in now. And then I'm going to turn the car back over, just like this. And in the three holes we've got at the front there, I'm going to put some QM screws. And that's gone on absolutely beautifully. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now I know you're all probably shouting at me, saying, Wayne, back in stage 106 when you put the card together, you should have put some AM screws in the center. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to do that now. Uh, but we've got the front left wheel arch that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be putting this together, having the car upside down. This will give me a chance to put those AM screws in. And once that's in, it's going to look just like that. We get to put the wheel back on that's that side. I wouldn't say it went wrong, but you know I'm going to make a mistake, especially with this. I mean, I've been worrying about this all weekend, this stage. <laughs> Let's get these out. So first thing we want to do, take these two sections here and here. And we're just going to be putting these together like that. This is the front side of the uh, wheel arch here. We're going to be held in with AP screws. Just uh, two of these. Now these wheel arches are actually going to hide that headlight wire that we had. What I'm going to do then is put on this outer section here. And that's just going to go over those two holes like that. Once again, held in with AP screws. Just from this way. Then I just need to clear myself a space. Because I'm going to bring the car back up. Put the uh, part work upgrades map back down. And before I continue to stop you all uh, <laughs> moaning at me, I'm gonna put these AM screws just in here. Now there's quite a few each side. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five each side, 10 screws in total. There you go, they're all in. <laughs> Okay, so this wheel arch that we've created here is actually going to hide this wire now that we created here. So I've just put the wheel arch in here. You slot it into the front and then that's held in here with AP screws and then AM screws here. That's 
all the way down and that's hidden the wire now that we had for the headlight. All we've got to do then is put the other section of the arch on, which is just going into two points that we've got here. Just like that. That's held in with AP screws. And then we can just put the wheel back on. Finishing up with the hub. Perfect. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now I've zoomed up but without bringing the car up because in the penultimate stage we're doing exactly the same thing for the other side. So let's do that now. So I've already put this together exactly like I did with the last one. So again, this is gonna go underneath here. We're slipping the front, oops, hang on a second, into that section and just pushing this down into this back section here, just like that. AM screws in here, AP screws in here. So that's all in and just like last time, I've got the rear one to put on here, which goes in this way. Get that into position, held on with CM screws, and then I can put the last wheel back on. Excellent, make sure they still turn, which they do. Excellent. That is all there is to do in that stage. So once again, I'm gonna keep the car just lying down here and show you the very last stage where we're gonna be putting on this trim just down the bottom here to hide all those screws. Then we're gonna be putting the bonnet on, which we've had got all the way since the first stage. And once that's all lined up and we put some catches just on the bonnet, we're gonna be able to put the top section on there. We are done. So this is what these sections look like here. This is the right one. They are stamped on it. There's a little R there. That's just gonna sit over the top there. And then obviously the left one, the other way around is going to be sitting over the top here. This one's got the writing facing up. To hold them in, we're using AM screws. So for each side, let's get these in. There you go. Now look at the upside down version closely because it's the last time we're going to see it upside down there. Turn this back round. Now it's going to need a good polish, but I've got the bonnet to put on and that's just going to push over the top of these metal sections here. So lining them up and push this into position. I do have a little clip here. It's probably best to put the clip in first. There you go. And push that down. And that's the bonnet on. Now, the bonnet is gonna to wanna to come up and to stop that happening, we've got some little latches to put in to each ring here. Now they look like this. So I'll get these all in and show you what this looks like. There you go, that's all the latches in place. Now theoretically, if I want to look at the engine, I've got to take those latches off to actually show you the engine. So uh, I don't think I'm ever going to see that engine again, personally. <laughs> okay, last little bit of detail to put in. We've got the aerial, which is just going into this point here. This is just a push-in. And then we've got the actual shaft of the aerial. Just going into the top like that and then the last section to go on which ironically is the first section that we made is just going to clip into the top here get this lined up one two three four push that into position and there we go that is the car completed. So I will give a beauty shot in a second to show you what that looks like. I'm gonna give it a bit of a polish first, I think, beforehand. But uh, yeah, I'm loving how that looks.
And there you go, that's another finished 1.8 vehicle uh, on the World of Wayne channel, the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Now, once again, if you want to get this for yourself, it's an amazing vehicle. It's probably the easiest one I've had to clamshell them together. Really happy how that went. Then head over to the Fan Home website. I have put the link in the video description for that. You can get that all the way from pack one, but really enjoyable build. I really hope you like that video. I really hope you like that series. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, Take care.